Good morning everybody and well, welcome once again to my humble abode. Today, what I'd like to do is something that's over there, that's beekeeping. But before I start doing that, probably just a quick charge up here while I'm talking. Um, what I'd like to do is also go a little bit back to the RF tool storage. I also had a uh, a slight problem after doing that expert mode and back to normal it sort of corrupted some of the data so I had to go back to a previous backup and so I'm a bit behind catching up with that and what what seemed to have happened when I was doing that I'm charged up now good is it it lost some of the modules so I've still got some bare pipes through here and things like that now the storage module is here and you see I've, I've only got three in it this time and this time I've got actually I've got the storage modules in here as opposed to before which I think is I had the remote modules so that allows uh, items to come in into here as it were and be shared amongst other storage modules and this item is quite interesting this is a storage scanner. Again, it requires power and you can scan a radius. So let's just scan a radius of say two and scan. And you'll see here it says got a metal hopper. I've got a metal form and it's got some items in it, a hopper with some HV cables. And I'm not sure where that is, but if I double click it, it actually highlights the hopper. And sure enough, I've got sorts of strange things in there that I wasn't expecting to have in. I wonder why. Anyway, let's put those away. Let's put those into here, I think, probably the best place. What else do we have? So we have a, an electric furnace and then it's got some rubber wood. If you double click it, it should be. So that's the electric furnace. And sure enough, it's got rubber wood and a graphite bar. We can take the graphite bar out and it will give us charcoal, which is disappearing very quickly into the system. It's coming actually round here and into, and it should be ending up here in the charcoal, but that may take a few seconds to come through. Now, what else is interesting about storage is you can put um, filters on it. I don't see coming in yet, but it should come in. 210. We'll look at that later on. Hopefully, it's not going into another unit. Could be, of course. Oh no. Ah, I wonder if that's why I had a graphite bar. Let's have a look. That should be charcoal. That should also be charcoal. So the wood must be coming in from um she must be coming in from here because it's no other way it can get in well i, I removed this pipe from below in fact this makes sense if i do this one as well you can't quite see it let's go back up here and probably find uh, items are coming in here so let's just stop that for the time being remove that item duct I've got a full inventory. Okay. Let's have a look what I've got in here I can get rid of. Oh, plenty of wood. And the impulse item duct, I don't need that. And I don't need the graphite bar, and I probably don't need the stone. So get rid of those, and I've got a, a tidier inventory. And here, you'll notice I have this item and this is this or dictionary storage module and I wasn't sure exactly what it was doing last time but I can demonstrate it better now so let's go up stairs and here I have a storage module linked in and in this one here I've got uh, a filter and the filter is actually filtering you can't see it quite so easily but it's actually filtering and whitelisting a mod which is Pam's Harvest Crust. 
So all of Pam's Harvest Cross stuff should be coming in here, except for these, which don't really belong in there. I put those in from outside. In other words, from remotely. I'm surprised they could get in, actually, but they must have done. What it does is when you've got this generic sort, I've got a generic sort module. So when I start to sort it, sort by type, if you watch this, it goes, you can sort it by mod, by name, by count, by generic type, and back to mod again. If I replace this one, and this time you sort it, you can only sort it by name and by count. And this one here will actually allow you to sort it by name, count, and or type. So you have these choices. Probably this is the best one for that. Again. So name, count, generic type, and mod. So if you've got multiple mods in here, you can see them. Those are Minecraft, that makes sense. These are actually all Minecraft. And the rest of this should be all Pam's Harvest Crust. Oh, that's Industrial Craft. Okay. So that's what these do. And in this one here, I've got the remote storage module with the remote ID too. And I can actually cycle these. And I thought... I could actually cycle the others as well. Actually, in fact, while I'm here, let's should be able to put that into there. No, can't. Don't ask me why. Ah, because of the filter. That's what was confusing me before. So this is uh, forestry, and here is the. Pam's Harvest Crust again. Let's turn this down a bit, it's a bit loud. Right, so that's what that does. And of course, then you can pipe stuff in and, and with this one here, I think that's linked. And something has changed, and I'm not quite sure which. This one's linked to one of those, but I didn't have the C to cycle between the different modules, so I'm a bit confused as to where that's disappeared to. And I should be able to put that queen in there and this honeycomb in there. Yes, I can. And what was the other one? Some more honeycomb in here. That'll do. Okay, so let's go and have a look. The first thing you have to do with beekeeping is to make an apiary. An apiary. And this ap and this apiary here, this is actually a it's got wintry princesses and drones in, so I can put that back into here. And these proven frames will then allow it to um, generate more combs. So the very first thing to make your apiary is you need some uh, impregnated wood, I think. And to make impregnated wood, you need seeds. And you need to squeeze them. So here I've got a squeezer, so I'll put some seeds in there. They will then get squeezed and it will go across here because I've got a little fluid duct and it's actually making impregnated sticks because that's the pattern I've got in. If I actually change that, I think it's like that. Take those out. Um, I thought it was that pattern. I want logs. Maybe it hasn't got enough seed oil yet. Let me just have a look. Recipes. Here are the recipes. So to make that one is it is this. It's where it lead to a, just just wood in a square with um and that makes an impregnated casing. And then you need two hundred and fifty milli by um, milli buckets of seed oil for that so that should be okay so now I've got 250 and there I've got an impregnated case but actually at the moment I need sticks and the reason I need sticks is to make the, the frames here so I've got an impregnated frame and to make that you need eight sticks and it, I'll take that out and we come over to a crafting table what we need is, I haven't got any string, where is it? Oh, there it is. One string. And eight 
heat sticks. And that makes an impregnated frame. So it actually takes quite a lot of sticks to make three frames. Now there's all sorts of ways to Oh yes to and to make this all you need is uh I've got the recipe for that is one impregnated casing surrounded by three wooden slabs and four uh, five sets of planks and that makes an apiary pretty straightforward really and what else do we need they don't work at night yes so that's a squeezer and a carpenter and then I've got another carpenter here full of water and this is to make the bealizer so and there's a few recipes that require water and there's a few recipes that require some recipes require honey and a lot of them actually require uh, seed oil too where are they oh yes this is the seed oil more seed oil and, and so and so forth these are water ones so then we need a centrifuge and a centrifuge used to to um, spin the combs and when you spin the combs you should get something out of it in this case I get some beeswax a snowball and some crystalline pollen clusters I get two of each of those and one of those and then I can put those in the storage units over here I think it's probably the best place to put that at the moment okay now the other thing I want to do oops is to make some chocolate cones I think they're called chocolatey cones um, frames so I need another set of frames has that been made yet Let's have a look yes I've got enough sticks now to make uh, you see it, needs, it takes quite a lot of seeds to make a few stick impregnated sticks and the, what you can hear in the background is a villager and the villagers are quite good at making we have that third frame so you can trade with him so in this particular case if I gave him 24 wood he'd give me one apri and that's what I did I gave him all of those until he was is finished and now if I give him two wheat he'll give me some parched comb okay so what I want is some chocolate cocoa beans and some wheat which I should be able to find plenty of in here I don't know why I went that way to the workshop so we need some wheat okay plenty of those I'll take a stack of that and we need some cocoa Two will make four, yes, that's plenty. Actually, no, let's take a full stack. And you'll notice here I've actually got some hives that I've been finding around the place. So this particular hive is an unusual hive, so it's got unusual bees, and these three are wintry hives, and they glow quite strongly in the dark, and they produce the wintry drones. And what I need to do is I need to uh, do some automation, but also, let's go to here, I want to make these chocolatey cones, don't I? So that is basically, I'm going to make three, aren't I? These basically allow the um, bees to mutate more readily. So now we've got three chocolatey cones and one apiary. So what we do, we put the apiary down somewhere here, it doesn't matter very much where. And put it in, in it, these three. And then we take some bees actually where's my little 
be it. Where's my little remote thing? Okay, I've got actually I've got some honeycomb here. And I've got a forest princess. And I've got a mystical a modest queen. Let's take her out of there. And have we got any drones? I can't see any in there for very many. Got a wintry drone. I've got plenty of wintry drones actually. That's what happens. So what we need is some honey. And we need the, what we need to do is centrifuge the honeycomb. This is honeycomb. With a bit of luck I shall get some honey. I've already done some and I've already got seven honeys here. So I've got some more beeswax and one more honey. So I've now got nine honeys. So what you do, you take your don't need this, it's out of range. So let's take my bealizer here and put into that some honey. So I basically put the honey in there. I won't put all of it in, I'll put I'll leave two out. And then because you need the honey for the habitat find locator here. So we put a bee in, let's take the rocky forest princess. And then that, that analyzes her. So you've got this is a pure one because you've got both the active and the inactive uh, are both forest. So it produces three drones. It's got that area of effect and no effect. So you don't need to worry about getting bitten or poisoned or anything nasty. And here's its temperature. So it's it's like normal. It's got not much temperature tolerance. And humidity is also normal. Zero generations in captivity. And it produces honeycomb, which is good. So you want lots of honeycomb. And here's its mutations, which says, actually, I've got, difficult to say, actually, I must have got uh, my font too large. So basically, it can produce a common drones. We do actually want common, and it can be modest. I think that's the only one here, isn't it? So it can produce <laughs> common drone. And here is its classification. So that's one done. Let's take the other one here, a modest queen. So it's got, it's, it's again, it's a pure bend, modest, and it likes cacti so that means it's going to probably be a desert animal and it likes it to be hot so that's uh, and uh, so it's definitely a desert one and it produces parched comb and it's nocturnal what else can we see about it uh, very difficult maybe I should change the from from auto to something smaller. Hmm. I don't see any mutations, but it's hard to see. Okay. So what that means is we're definitely not in an arid environment. So if I put this one into here, it's complaining. It's got no flowers because it won't, and it's a hostile environment. And we know that because it's uh, on this one here. Pristine, oh, it's a pristine princess. I needed a drone. Uh, let's take a drone out of here. And that will make a hybrid queen, it should do anyway. So, this is all no flowers, it's not daytime, and it's a hostile environment. So, what we then do. As we take the habitat locator. In fact, I will actually put the bed down there. Oh, did I give him some wheat? Not yet, did I? So let's give him some wheat, first of all. Oops. Can't do that. I must have used this one. Too far away. So I'm Right, so now I have 32 parch combs, and it, oops. 
and I can put those into the centrifuge here. What did I do with those 32 parch combs? Oh, I've got some wheat back. Don't understand. Try that again. Okay. That's weird. It's taking them away. Don't ask me why. So I've got more honey, which is great. And small beeswax, which is also great. So we need to automate that really so we get lots of um lots of be lots of honeys we need right so here we are so what we now need to do is to take this device here number five and put the bee into it it also needs honey so we'll give it four honeys and this tells you where it's actually can live so this one is tig tiger forest, mushroom, swamp, plains, ocean and hills. And I think we're in a, a wintry area. And this one can live in the nether, can live in forest, desert, plains and hills. Okay. Now, I have set up another apiary. Let's just go over that. So we at the moment, we're in tiger so one of those things those bees should be able to survive here quite happily this environment is oops, a bit more hostile so here I've got a common princess a meadows drone and a common common drone great and some more um, what else do I need to do there is something I need to build actually it's a backpack for bees because then they can sort them properly but I think that's quite a takes quite a bit of a effort so where were we now we've got this forest queen and that's working fine here I don't think the modest queen worked here but what we can do is check it let's take another um, apiary and try and put that one in here and it probably say hostile environment and no flowers because it wants to be somewhere else what else do we have here common princess and a common drone they should be just fine no flowers we can sort that out very quickly we've got some flowers here and another one you can see you can all straight see straight away that they're flying away so that's now working right the thing about beekeeping is it's going to take quite a long time because it because they have to die off um, if we actually get a uh, next generation it can take quite some time until we to get to the next level a wintry drone. Ah, yes, I wanted a wintry queen for this, didn't I? Or something else that can survive the, the weather. So what do we have in here? Let's take a... Unusual princess. got a wintry drone and unusual princess from a noble stock and that one's working so we'll get a mutation from this one I think and we'll have to wait and see what happens and here we've got some lots of cones coming out of here now and I'll have to make these are untreated frames so I should make some more treated frames so I shall have to get some more seeds which I've got, I should have plenty of seeds coming in now because I changed the, the layout of the this little farm here to being a, to reducing the wood and uh, increasing the seeds. The 
to eat. And they will actually accumulate in here. That is plenty of And plenty of carrots. The only use for carrots is to make pigs as far as I can see. Let's shift those into here. This is the breeder, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Work straight away. Oops. Different way. Ah, oh, wheat. Why have we got so much wheat? There's lots of interesting noises. Ah. So that looks like he's, fi he's finished that one. Let's see if I'd lose my cones when I just walk away. No, I got them, kept them this time. I got some more honey. And if I come back to him again, he'll tell me what else he could got to trade this time. Oh, I can still trade some wood and get some more. Hey, Bruce, that's good. I'll we'll still trade some of these. Okay, cool. So I'm getting plenty of honey drops and I'm getting plenty of beeswax. And what I need is actually pollen, I think. Oh, because what I want to make is the a apri tools so let's have a look what those are it's got little items in here so sometimes they're hard to find forest is quite a big mod Mostly bees, of course. What I need, I think, is some of this propolis. And what I'm looking for is the backpack. Uh, Apris backpack. So they have different different sizes. 125 slots. For that, you need uh, an Apris chest. Oh, that's not too difficult. We've got plenty of honeycombs, uh, combs, and and chest and one glass. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. Three over there. What else have we got in here? Five in here. They'll do. It doesn't matter which honeycombs you use. Before I do that, I need to make a chest, don't I? And one glass wasn't it? I'm going to need those five of these. And this is an apris chest, and the apris chest stores bees quite nicely. So we can put it down. Should I seeds? Should those in there? In fact, I wanted to make the backpack, didn't I? Look for April stuff, is it? So you got the April's pipe. That was the automation part that we need to do, which I think I'll do next time because this is the one I'm pretty certain I need propolis for and a, a diamond transport pipe. And the backpack is. Where's it gone to? Uh, here we go. So, wool sticks and just ordinary sticks, aren't they? Okay, and string wool and get from over by the farm. So we'll do that now. Okay. 
because bees don't stack, it does actually make a lot of sense to get this lots of wool in here. Makes a lot, it makes a lot of sense to um, have a backpack for them because it automatically sorts them for you as well. So what did what's the recipe? It was two wool, if I remember right thing. Four string, two sticks, just ordinary sticks. Have to do that with my and one apris chest. Make the two sticks quickly. You don't need any hot bar, it can be, I think it can be just anywhere. Just go and find some bees and off you go. Right, that's it. And until next time, bye for now.